Hey guys, this is Peter with Carries.net, and this video is going to be kind of running you through the Skype app for Android that was just recently released. Uh, previously, it had only been on the Verizon Fascinate as Skype Mobile. Now it is available for all Android devices, but as you'll see in the article, and if you try and install it on the market, Skype from the market is currently not available for Galaxy S devices. We will show you a workaround for that in this video, uh, but do keep that in mind. Look to the article for more information about this. So first we're going to show you kind of Skype on the desktop. Most of you should be familiar with this, but for those who aren't, um, so this is the desktop software. On the left, it'll have your contacts. On the right, once you click on a contact, as I've done, it'll kind of show you more details about that contact. Um, let's kind of zoom out a little bit. Uh, so it shows that you can call on the top. It shows what language they're in, uh, what country, what time it is in their country. Very convenient if you're not knowing when or if you should call someone at the moment. So down at this bottom part, you can kind of see the history that you've had with this person. So it shows calls, it shows messages, um, it allows you to share certain things, do some kind of extra features. So that's kind of nice. Uh, to start off with, we'll just run through a desktop to mobile call, and that'll be real quick, and we're going to be doing this call on an HTC Evo, running the Skype software that is currently available in the market. So, let's kind of show you that. Again, this is on Wi-Fi right now, and as you'll see as soon as I click call, it's fairly quick at uh, connecting between the desktop software and the device. I'm not gonna answer only because it creates that really annoying echo that you get when you have two phones next to each other. But that kind of gives you an idea of, again, how easy it is, how simple it is. And also what's great about this is now if your friends in other countries have Android devices, if they run Skype, then you can essentially call them from your mobile to their mobile for free. So that's a really nice, convenient thing um, Previously, if you call mobile devices from Skype, it does cost, and usually mobiles are more expensive to call than landlines. So this is a really nice feature uh, to keep in touch with international friends or people across borders. And for this next test, what we're going to be showing you is, and let me, bear with me while I focus this because it's not going to be pretty at first. And one second. Okay, so on the right you'll see an HTC Evo and that is going to be running Skype from the Android market. In the middle you see a Samsung Captivate from AT&T. We have the currently leaked build of Froyo installed on this and we have the 3G hacked version of Skype also installed on it. And on the left is a Verizon Fascinate with the original Skype mobile software installed. So let me kind of wake these guys up, give me a second to do that because it takes a little bit for each. And let's hope they don't die on me in the middle of this. Come on. And I'll have to run my hands across the screen a little bit as I'm talking. Please bear with me with that again just so that they don't fall asleep. Um, so again, really easy. The differences between Skype Mobile and Skype, as you'll see on the top, uh, Skype Mobile has one less tab, and that is my info. You can still change this and still set, set, set excuse me, your status on Skype mobile on the Fastlane, it's just not an easy to reach tab. As you can see here, you can add your profile picture, you can change your status, edit your details, see your credit, uh, see if you have any other extra features like online number or call forwarding active. Again, excuse me from swiping each screen. One thing to keep in mind on the Verizon Fascinate is if you are going to go with Verizon and you're not going to get an unlimited data plan, keep in mind that you cannot install Skype and have that run along with Skype Mobile unless you do the hacked version. Again, this is just for people who are uncomfortable with those kind of pieces of software, the hacked ones. So keep that in mind because again, it won't run on Galaxy S and I, and I believe there's a conflict between the Skype Mobile and the Skype, um, but I think for the most part it's just that it won't run on a Galaxy S. So, and the reason you should keep that in mind is because Skype Mobile on the Verizon Fascinate will not work over Wi-Fi. It will only work over Verizon's data connection. So keep that in mind. Skype that is now available in the market will only work over Wi-Fi for the US um, and I believe one other country, I forget which at this time, but it will only work over Wi-Fi unless you get again the one you're seeing in the middle, the 3G hacked version, which is 
identical uh, to the one that you see on the market on the right. But again, keep that in mind. So now we're running our test. We're just going to add a person. We're going to make a call from the 3G hacked version just to show you that it works. We're going to make a call from the Wi-Fi version again just to show you that it works and we'll go from there. So. With this guy, we're going to add a contact. So again, pretty easy. We're just gonna search the Skype directory and enter the name of this middle guy, which is techace3. And hopefully none of them. And there's the dictionary at its best. Sorry, one sec. I'll take this away for just two seconds. Okay, so <clears throat> you can see that that is searching. So I'll try and get the glare out of there. Um, the searching the database is a little slow at the moment. Obviously, the desktop's a little bit faster, but it's not too bad. You're just not going to be able to, you know, quickly add someone, call them in five seconds, and be on your way. So do keep in mind that it does take a little bit. So there we go. It found our contacts. Now we're just going to click it. You can add a message if you want, since I know that it's going to just be me, I won't add a message. And now we can go back. So we'll go back to our contacts. Again, it's gonna show up as that little question mark bubble uh, because I haven't accepted their friend request yet. So again, on this guy, we see that we have one event under the event tab. It says at the top that you have a contract contact request, excuse me, from Carace. You just click that, it gives you a kind of couple options, block, don't add this person, add this person to contacts. So we're going to add them to contacts, go back to our contacts. Now you can see that it changed from the question mark to the green, so we're good there. So let's try calling that. And as you'll see, both of these phones are currently on AT&T's 3G and Verizon's 3G. So let's see that in action. Again, this is what it'll look like uh, when calling on the Skype mobile. And this is what it'll look like on the Skype app from the market, or again, the 3G hacked Skype. So bubble on the left, similar to Android 2.2 and 2.1 stylings, and this whole range of options on the right. So we're gonna call them from the Fascinate. As you can see, it kind of gives you the same kind of options that you would see in a normal call. Do keep in mind that the 3G hacked version is going to use up extra battery and it's going to drain it pretty fast since it is not on Wi-Fi and 3G uses more battery than Wi-Fi so we're just going to decline just to kind of show you guys that process again pretty easy uh, when you go to call it gives you an option you can change your country right there so you already know the dialing code you can look up a contact add call delete standard set of options um, your events is just going to give you again history of what you've done messages you've sent oh let's show the messages real fast just because this video is getting a little long. So, let's go to our conversation between these two phones. Again, bubble styling, uh, instant messaging type conversations. If you had your screen names there, it would show that. Gives you times, messages. Again, pretty easy stuff. Gives you quick shortcuts back to your contacts or events at the top. And then finally, events is, again, just going to show you your Skype credit, show you the calls that you made, the messages that you sent, and that's about it. As in terms of menu options, they're going to be the same on both the 3G hacked and the market one. And I'll just show you kind of that right now just to show you. So don't think that the 3G hacked version is going to skimp on the features or anything like that. It has the same set of features, it just allows you to call over 3G instead of Wi-Fi. So again, that is Skype for Android. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments and look to our article to find out more about that 3G hacked version, uh, the Skype mobile own, the Skype mobile specific version for the Fascinate, and then the general Skype app that's found in the market. Thanks for tuning in and hope to see you soon.